Welcome everyone. Uh, just a short introduction. I'm Aaron. Um, I'm from uh, DK Outsource. Right, so uh, I'm working as a quantity surveyor uh, as well as a software trainer. So um, I have trained uh, various um, companies, users uh, for Bluebeam review in the AAC industry. Now, just a short intro of what Bluebeam review is. All right, so to put it simply, it's a PDF software, but uh, it is a very specific uh, software which is relevant to you if you are coming from the AEC industry, uh, even in the oil and gas industry as well. Right? Uh, it is the preferred and uh, by all means uh, the market leader uh, in this industry. So if you have not done so, you have not tried it out, please do uh, do, do, do try it out uh, and see what it can do for you. Now the topic that we'll be covering today is uh, on the function of reduce file size. Now understand that this is a relatively simple task which you can usually find uh, by googling and then even doing it uh, on some uh, brow well, internet browsers uh, to do this uh, function. right? But sometimes uh, what you face is that sometimes you will get um, results that are corrupted. You'll get results which are not very comprehensive. Uh, it does not uh, it does not convert very well, uh, does not convert as much, right? So Bluebeam Review uh, of offers a comprehensive version of this tool, uh, which really uh, easily uh, cuts down uh, the size of your file very effectively and efficiently as well, right? So now let's let's get to it. Okay, so what I have open here is uh, Review 2019, the latest version, right? Okay, so to get to the um, function reduce file size, you go to the top right, the top bar, click on document okay, and somewhere at the bottom there will, there will be the button that says reduce file size right, so once you click on this, a few things that you will notice uh, you will have the name of the document here you will also have the size, so you can see that this is a 120, 120 MB file Right, you have the option of uh, adding additional files, whether it's individual files, folders, and subfolders. And you also can choose to remove uh, individual files after you have added them. Right, the save and load buttons allow you to actually um, save certain configurations, certain file sets, if you are looking to uh, reduce file size uh, multiple times on that file. Right, all right, so um, the next thing that's going to happen is that we're going to analyze the file. Right, do take note that the analysis time. Uh, will take uh, different. Um, uh, we will we'll have different durations. All right. The larger your file size, uh, the longer this uh, time of analysis will be. Okay. So now that it has finished analyzing, you will see that it will tell you your file size and the estimated file size after reduction. So it shows here thirty one percent. Right. Okay. Now let's take a look at upload options. So you have two um, two options really. You can choose the standard one, which is the one at the top or the custom one below. Now, so uh, they have set a balance uh, kind of setting for you. Balance image retention and file size. If you want to go more on the side of quality, then they will have, uh, you obviously have lesser uh, file reduction. If you want to have more reduction at the cost of your image quality, then you can go towards compression, right? Okay, so we're going to keep it there first. We're going to explore what are the custom presets that we can edit. Now, so when you click edit, uh, similar to earlier, it will also take a while uh, for you to analyze the file uh, depending on how big your file size is. Okay, so once after it has finished analyzing, you will see this window here. Right? Okay, so uh, just to go through, uh, the first one is under images. Right? You can also change um, the font, so if you drop embedded. Now, so when you toggle between these different options, right over here, which I'm clicking, you will see that there's a difference at the bottom in real time. So right now it says 31% reduction in size. If I turn it off, it only has a 26% reduction in size. So you can choose which one you want to go for. Uh, same thing goes for miscellaneous. So you can toggle on and off these different uh, different items and they will show you how much of size difference it will actually occur. Right, the main thing we want to focus on is images because when uh, when, your, when, when the document or, or drawing goes through uh, this setting, all the text is basically recognized as images. So what you can see here is that it has found 2,000 over full color images here. It has found 600 8-bit colors, 6 grayscale, and 160 monochrome. Now, so in order of 
uh, descend in descending order, the full color images actually take up the most space in the document. So you can also see at the bottom bar here, this is the sort of uh, the breakdown of the entire file. Now, so one very simple way for you to reduce file size is, for example, I can go to the full color image and I say that I will drop the uh, dots per inch to 72. Now you notice once I drop it to 72, it changes from 31% reduction in size to 50% uh, 50 reduction in size. So I can continue on a bit more. I can say that monochrome, I donate 200, I change it to 150 it reduces as well. But you notice changing it from 300 to 150 for a monochrome image does not really impact too much. right? So the, the most of the impact falls on the full color. right? You may also want to change the full color to grayscale and that will also make certain uh, differences as well depending on what you need from the drawing or document. If your document or drawing does not really need uh, the presence of full color images, it may be good for you to just reduce it and change it to monochrome for you to save space. Right. Okay, so once you have done that, okay, when you click OK, okay, it will actually prompt you uh, and you click OK and you press save, right, they will ask you do would you like to add uh, override the existing file? Now usually what I do is that I will not override the existing file because in case if I do need the original file for other purposes, uh, then I can keep a backup. Alright, so I will usually click no. Alright, okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to save it under a different file. Right, it's just, it, it will just analyze uh, the file again and save it in that location. Alright, so once the uh, reduction of file size has been done, you will see this report on my screen here. So you basically just show you how, how much of a percentage decrease it has done already and the current open file will be your the file that has already been reduced right so from here uh, you you can use it to attach it wherever you want uh, to for your for your usage now so yeah thank you um, all for watching the video I hope this has helped you um, with uh, how you want to use Bluebeam review and for those who are new, uh, to the software, I do encourage you to try out the trial. I will be placing a, a trial download link uh, in the video description below. Right, do do check it out. It's a, there's a 30 day free trial. Uh, for those who would like uh, to inquire on technical and sales uh, queries, right, do feel free to contact me direct. I will leave my contact details in the video description as well. Right, yeah, thank you very much. See you.